We are going to tackle a challenging lesson, page 1718 on Algebra 2, page 1129. We have to um, complete the square. So the, the equation that we're going to graph as a parabola is going to be given to us in a little different format. And then we have to rearrange it, compare it to those charts earlier in the pace. And uh, so we're going to walk you through one here. This um, is one of the problems in your homework. I think it's number three. There are a couple examples um, that are good to follow through and make sure you understand the steps. And I will tell you that when you go to score, uh, there is a solution guide. So all the steps are there that you can check where you, you know, got off, got off um, target if, if, if you did. But uh, let's see what happens here. We have um, <clears throat> the y squared term, so we'll keep the y on the same side as the squared term. And I'm gonna bring the 28 over here to the other side. So this will become 8x plus 28. Keep the equals here, y squared minus 4y. Now, in completing the square, we always take half the middle term. So this y term, <clears throat> so half of four, and uh, I mean, that's easy, you know that that's two, but just always think of it as multiplying one half times whatever this middle term is. Sometimes it's, you know, you might end up with a fraction, which is fine, okay? So in this case, we get two. So that means we're gonna add two, uh, excuse me, we half the middle term squared. Two is half the middle term, but then we square it and we get four. So we need to add four on the other side as well because we're trying to keep it equal. We're trying to keep the two sides balanced. So we add four. Now the whole reason we did that is we want to end up with a quantity squared. Because this is minus, I'm going to do y minus the square root of the four, which is two. So now let's think about what this means. This means that y minus two times y minus two, if you did the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last, and multiply them all together, you would get negative two y and negative two y, which would give you the negative four y. Negative two times negative two would give you the positive four here on the end, okay? So this is the whole reason we did this. This is called completing the square. See the squared term here? So over here we have to simplify this and have 8x plus 28, 132, and then we'll factor that 8 out of that, which gives us x plus 4, okay? y minus 2, the quantity squared. Now we're going to flip the two sides. So we're just going to reverse it. <clears throat> Let me grab my pace here and let's go back to the chart on page 15. And let's see which of these four does this seem to match up with. Looks like the first one, because we have the y on the left, and we have a positive term here. This eight is a positive term. So that means our template is, I'm gonna write it up here, y minus k, the quantity squared, equals four a times x minus h. So the vertex will be the point h, K. The focus is H plus A K. The directrix is X equals H minus A. And then the lattice rectum is 4A. All right. So that, again, I hope you're not thinking you're not being expected to memorize this. That's crazy. So here on page 15, we have that. We just copied that down. Now let's look back over here and see what we have. Y minus 2. So that means K would be the 2. Okay, because it's Y minus K. Y minus 2. So it's a positive 2. Now over here. The h value is x minus h. 
and this is a positive 4, so that means h is going to be negative 4. Because minus a negative 4 would give us the positive 4 here. Now, in this template, 4a has to equal 8. So we can divide both sides by 4 and figure out that a is 2. <clears throat> And so then I'll let you finish going through there. The rest of that is just a matter of plugging in the A, the H, the K, and writing all those answers in on page 18. Okay? Vertex, focus, directrix, LR. You don't have to graph it. Yay. We just have to solve it and figure out what these four things are and write them in. Okay, so the hardest part, the new part, um, is rearranging the original equation in order to complete the square, taking half the middle term squared, add that to both sides, factor this one on the right so that we have a quantity squared, and now we notice that we have it, when we flip the two sides, we have it in the same form, the template that we had back on page 15. So once we match it up, boom, we get the values, we can figure out A, and from there, it's, the rest of that's pretty easy. It's just a matter of plugging in, okay? Hopefully that uh, takes a little bit of the mystery out of that and it's not quite as intimidating as you thought when you first looked at it. Um, I'm gonna look over the next lesson here on 19 and 20 about ellipses, and then we'll do a video for that.